Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Look, Christmas came early. I have a shipment from my buddy Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons. He sent me some really cool snakes and then just a bunch of surprises, stuff that he's like, I'm just going to send you a whole big box of things. So I am excited about it, but I just realized I don't have my knife. So wait one second. I'll be right back. I actually don't know where my knife is. I had it right on the cart here earlier, so I'm not sure. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Do you happen to have a knife? Check this out. Oh, where, where did you get this thing? Oh, uh, this guy Paco under the pier. You know, he spells uh, like biker parts and knives. Good guy. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. You just, you're welcome. You, just let me know when you're done. I worry about that guy sometimes. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, that's a pretty cool knife. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty cool. So, all right, I'm <laughs> Paco. Where'd you get it from Paco? What, what's, what's, what's up with that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are gonna have an amazing start to our day. We are gonna be unboxing some cool stuff again. Not exactly sure what's in here as far as the surprise stuff, but I know I think there's 10 or 11 snakes that I am really excited about because I've been working with this particular species, but I've wanted to get some more of them. And and Miguel was working with them and decided that he was going to get rid of them. So I was like, oh my God, I got to have it. Watch, well, by the way, Miguel has a cool channel. Link in the description. You go pay him some love for sure. Tell him I sent you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, look at this. He sent some swag, guys. All right, so what do we have here? Hashtag big dog AEP. I like that, dude. I swear to you guys, I will, I will definitely sport that one. That's a good one there. This one must be for Noah because it's a medium and a large for me. So thank you, Miguel. I appreciate it you very much yeah. so let's go ahead and see what else is in this box here oh there's another one hey eric yeah. got a shirt for you Dude, big dog. Big I like dog, that. Dog. 2XL. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let's see what's in this box anyways. I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, a bunch of little bags here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start opening them up and seeing what we have right off the rip. What do we have here? Oh, my gosh. I am so excited about this. Oh, my gosh. Take a look at guys. Oh, my gosh. That's right. Look at Viper Boas! These are adult female Viper Boas right here. These are actually a Candoia Asper. They're an Indonesian little boa that is just really crazy. A ground dwelling animal that's really bizarre. Now I raised up a handful of babies a couple years ago that are not quite this big, but they're getting there. But I wanted to get an established group. And sure enough, Miguel had a whole bunch of adults that he decided that it was time for him to move on on because he mainly does pythons and stuff like that. And when he said, I was thinking about getting rid of them, I was like, please, let me buy them from you. I absolutely love them. So there's two, and I think there's going to be a bunch of them in here, but there's also going to be some ball pythons. So there's the first two here. I'm assuming, well, I don't know. Let's see what we got. And the thing that's nice about Viper Bow is the same thing when you get into the Candoya Carinata, which are the Solomon Island ground bows, is that they vary tremendously. You can have 10 animals and they all look completely different, which is really, really cool. Let's see what this one is here. Whoo, this one's pretty. It is so dark. Look at that. It's almost black. I mean, that thing is crazy cool. I think this might be, yep, yeah, it's another girl. No, no, maybe. Oh, I think this is a boy. So the boys stay much smaller on these guys. They're sexually dimorphic, meaning that the females get about twice the size of boys. So that's going to be an absolute ripper of a boy to start breeding for sure. One thing I will say is that these guys do like to bite a little bit and they do sometimes like to pee on you. So I have to be a little bit careful with that. But so far, they are looking really amazing. Okay, another one. And again, I have some that are light tan some that are red looking this is another really dark little male and you can see this guy he already pooped all in the back here we'll get these guys all set up now these they, they now they do like a higher humidity so typically i'll use more like a coconut husk and kind of wet it down a little bit because these guys are ground dwelling animals but they also like to stay kind of humid and moist for sure whoo these are some big ones here look at these big monkeys Ooh, doggy, I tell you what, and just look at the eyes on them. I mean, they are just so crazy looking. I absolutely love these things. Oh my gosh. And these are some definitely some chunker females. So it looks like we've got a whole bunch of cool females that we can get set up. And hopefully with any luck, we'll breed these guys. These are a live bearing snake. So they have anywhere from four to 10 babies typically. And they are so cute when they're born. So I can't be more excited. Again, this was kind of on the list of things that I wanted the most this year. It's to add to my Viper Boa group. So the fact that Miguel has sent me some, I am so excited about this. And take a look at this one here. Whoo! 
Look at that thing. Look at the reds and rust colors in it. That thing is a ripper for sure. Ooh, doggy. I absolutely love that animal. Wow, and just, I just love that kind of shovel looking head. And like I said, these guys are known for being like little springs where they'll just come up and bite you. They're absolutely so cute. And again, we'll get these guys set up as soon as we are. I think there should be a couple ball pythons in here. But right now I'm just seeing a lot of viper boas, which I'm not complaining about. I wasn't sure how many he was sending me. I think there's already an, oh my gosh, these are incredible. I think there's already like, I don't know, seven or eight adult females. Look at this female here. Oh my gosh. And look at how chubby they are. Unbelievable. But look at the reds in that. Wow. wow. Unbelievably cool. Again, a species of snake that I've never personally bred. Now, I have bred the Solomon Island boas, which are close relatives to these guys, but never bred the Asper or Viper boas. So I'm hoping with any luck, now that I have all these adults, that this coming up year, we can actually have some success and produce these guys because that would be absolutely incredible. All right, let's see what we got. Again, Christmas definitely came early today. Excited about this. Oh, and now we got some ball pythons. Now some more stuff that we're used to, right? Looks like we have just a little, maybe pastel ghost here. A couple normal ball pythons. And again, what happened is that Miguel just, you know, when he produces some of the byproduct from his higher end projects, he just, you know, said, hey, what if I just sell you some of that stuff? And I'm like, sure, that's good. I mean, I like that stuff and it's always good to get it. So again, just a couple little animals there. We'll see what else is in here. This is a heavier bag, so it's either more viper bone or oh nope just bigger ball pythons and this one looks like we just have oh this one looks like a little yellow belly right here really pretty little yellow belly too not bad at all then a couple more normal ball pythons that look really pretty next bag what do we have here looks like a couple more normal ball pythons again normal ball pythons are great pet snakes you know you don't have to have some really crazy wild paint job to have a cool animal and a lot of times when people are just starting with ball pythons you know a normal ball python is a great option and we always like to have them in stock so that people that want to get started can actually get started with something really cool. Again, relatively inexpensive pet snake and it works out perfect. Again, another bag of normal ball pythons here. They're really pretty and the chances are, oh, and here's a little yellow belly in here too. This guy's a little yellow belly right here. And again, a lot of these are probably just byproducts. Maybe they're possible hat for something because a lot of times when breeders actually produce stuff, you know, when they produce the offshoot that is kind of the normal or possible hats, you know, they're just usually sold off as normal ball pythons is what we're going to do here too because I don't know the genetic behind them so I have no idea what they are oh another bag here it looks like we got some normals and again another beautiful little pastel ghost here you can see this one right here really pretty pastel ghost that ghost gene is sometimes called a hypo it's a recessive mutation and then of course the pastel is a co-dominant mutation looks like another whole big bag of normal ball pythons so regardless uh, a lot of really cool beautiful normal ball pythons like I said when you look at something like that you just say there's definitely a hat thing going on there because you see those bands and stuff like that not like a normal normal ball python so nevertheless uh that was an amazing shipment of snakes couldn't be more happier got all my viper boas i'm so excited to expand that colony and potentially hopefully produce so wish me luck hopefully i can breed them this year and have a bunch of baby viper boas because there's not that many people producing them and i think they're one of the coolest snakes out there so thanks again to miguel my buddy over at always evolving python Big old bucket of pinkies. Today we're gonna be feeding all of our babies and stock snakes. A lot of these guys we're uh, putting down into hibernation. We only have a handful of snakes left that we're actually feeding that we don't feel is safe enough to put into broodmation. So today I'm gonna go through, feed all of our baby, all of our stock stuff, all the stuff you see on the website. I get that stuff fed today. That way I can check tomorrow. And then I have uh, adult feeding tomorrow. So it's never a dull moment here at BHB.
Remember that Sydney New Jean animal I've showed you guys a few times, I absolutely think they're amazing. Well, I keep on kind of struggling with the fact that I don't want to call them Sydney New Jean. It's just a silly name. So uh, obviously I was thinking mango ball python, but there's already a mango ball python and I'll never step on anyone's toes on that type of stuff. So I got to come up with something different. You guys suggested a few things. I like all three of these. Actually, I like everything that you guys suggested, but I know I say it's a ripper an awful lot. I got that from my Australian friends. So I'm thinking maybe ripper ball python. Also, I think another one was ginger ball python. I really like that one. And last was cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, I think all of those are really cool. I'd like you guys down in the comment, tell me which one you like. Do you like ripper? Do you like ginger? Do you like cinnamon toast crunch? Or is there something else that you guys would like this animal to be named? I just am excited about this project. And obviously I've got to change the name from new gene to something catchy so that if it proves out to be a super form that's really ridiculous, people are going to be even more excited about it or at least understand the gene a little bit better. Nevertheless, love these animals. Doing amazing. We've got 1.2 babies that look exactly like this growing up. So in a couple years from now, hopefully we'll be able to prove out a super. And I just realized that I used 1.2 as an example of how many babies we had. Well, a lot of times I use snake lingo. As a matter of fact, I might do an entire vlog just about snake lingo so you guys understand a little bit better. What it is is the one is a male, the point two is a female. So anything on this side of the decimal is a male. Anything on that side of the decimal is a female. I just wanted to clear that up so you guys were like, what the heck is Brian talking about? Guys, I have some pretty absolutely amazing news. You guys know Snaz, my Burmese python that is just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful snake. Well, the thing you may not have known is that this guy hasn't eaten in eight months. Yep, eight months he has been off of food. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I was a little bit worried because he was starting to look a little bit thin. But you know, I've been doing this for so long that I know that sometimes snakes just go on fast for whatever reason. Well, guess what? Last night, look at this right here. He's got a nice lump in him right here. This is a nice, probably two and a half pound rabbit. That's right, he ate a frozen rabbit yesterday for the first time in eight months. This is just kind of a reminder to people that if your snake goes off food but still looks healthy, even if it starts to lose a little weight, you don't have to freak out. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do an entire vlog about this topic here in the next week or so. But regardless, I just wanted to share, I am beyond happy with the fact that Snazzy is now eating and should be back on the track of getting nice and big and fat again. You guys know that you helped me fulfill so many dreams. I gotta be honest with you. I've got one huge dream. I don't know if anyone out there can help me or not, but I'm gonna share it with you. And I believe that sometimes when you kind of speak your dreams, they can come true. You know, I don't know if that's true or not. Regardless, there's two people that I really wanna meet before the end of my days. I'll be honest with you, there's probably a lot more than just the two, but it's Betty White, which I used to have a connection with, but unfortunately don't anymore. And then this is the big one that I'm gonna ask a favor for is David Attenborough. You know, David's like, I think 93 now. He probably doesn't have that much longer to go. I have to meet David Attenborough before he's no longer around. One of the biggest inspirations in my life, I have to. So if anyone knows a way I can get to David Attenborough, I will fly there in a minute just to go meet him and then fly back. So please, if you know anyone down in the comments, let me know or email me info at BHB Reptiles. So I don't know, I, again, I just felt if I spoke to you guys this dream, maybe it would come true. So we got the Viper Bros all set up and they look absolutely incredible. It's amazing what just setting an animal up and giving it a few hours to hydrate and just look better. I mean, look at this animal right there. Ooh, doggy. And this is a big female too. And hopefully I can figure out how to breed these guys. Like I'd mentioned before, I've never actually bred them. And what we're basically doing is we're just using coconut bedding, the reptile prime right here, and uh, just keeping it a little bit damp. We'll probably put a little hide in there so that they can hide. But to be honest with you, these guys are more burrows. They're gonna go right into the bedding and they really don't need much of a hide, but we'll probably put one in there regardless. Definitely ground dwelling animals, unbelievably polymorphic, just meaning that there's a ton of different variation between animal and animal. And again, these are live bears, so I'm pretty sure that we're gonna probably breed them here in the next month or so. I'm assuming because of where these guys are from, there's a wet season and a dry season, not so much a cold and hot season. So usually when the monsoons come, which is basically now, is when they start to breed. So again, just look at how different each one of these animals look. I mean, I am unhappy with getting these guys. I can't thank Mikel enough for giving me the opportunity to finally grow my entire colony. Again, we have three babies that are basically sub-adults upstairs that we're gonna be able to move down here. And uh, these guys are definitely ready to go. So with any luck, we'll have some babies here uh, later this spring. Regardless, I hope you liked this unboxing video. If you did, here's another really cool unboxing video over here. Here's an entire playlist of me unboxing. Over on this side, you can hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the post notification on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, you better be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.